Hello, I am Fawad. Uh, in this video tutorial, I will show you that uh, how you can uh, filter the noise from an audio signal. So, first of all, what I will do is I will read an audio signal. I have a .mat file over here in a folder, and uh, I am going to read. I am going to load this file. Yes, soon I load this file. I see within the workspace I get two uh, variable tuneS and FFS. The FFS is the sampling frequency while the tuneS represent the values or the amplitude values of that uh, audio signal. So when I read the uh, first line of code, uh, line number six, when I execute the line number six, that is this one. Uh, what it will do it will display it will play the audio and then after I play this audio I have created a pause for five seconds because the sound was about five second long uh, then I am going to create a fast Fourier transform of this uh, input signal that is tune s these are just uh, redundant instructions. You you need to remove these lines, line number nine and line number uh, the four. These are just redundant things. So uh, at line number ten, uh, Nyquist frequency has been uh, calculated, and then. Uh, the pass band normalized frequency and stop band normalized frequency have been defined over here then the ripple values for the pass band and stop band have been defined over here uh, at line number 15 what I will get is I will uh, the, these two lines will create a filter order mm. the value of n and w of s over here is uh, n is equal to 43 and w of s is equal to 0.0, .0. Uh, 050 by executing line number 16 of this code I get the filter um, coefficients the filter coefficients are uh, over here Z P and K these are three uh, different values by using these three different values that are zeros and poles I will get the filter coefficient by executing line number uh, 17 I got two variable first variable is uh, SOSLP and GLP I am using a high pass filter where I have defined the variable as high because I am using high pass filter these are numerator and denominator coefficient I will I need to change these LP and uh, to HP so that I may know that what this filter is about by executing line number 18 I uh, filtered the original sound signal uh, these are the numerator and denominator of the filter coefficients and values of the filter coefficient and this is the input signal the output signal has been filtered out and the high frequency that is above this range have been uh, filtered out um, it have been uh, filtered out so uh, in the next phase uh, I have defined the, the pass band and stop band normalized frequency is 4000 and 4010 um, and the ripple values are the same as that was for the high pass filter uh, now I am going to define the low pass filter by executing line number uh, 28 I get the poles and zero values of the, the numerator and denominator coefficients of the filter that is low pass filter and by executing line number 29 I get a filtered signal um, first in the first attempt it was uh, the high uh, high pass filter then the low frequency was removed by these uh, by this filtering in the second attempt the low frequency have been removed the high frequency have been removed so the filtered signal have been stored in the filtered sound to variable now the high and low 
uh, portion of the signal have been removed the high and low frequencies have been removed so now this was the input signal and the subplot that is at second position is the uh, value of the the response of the filtered signal so thank you this was all about the topic